there's one more reaction that I want to do today with you. And that is fermentation. Fermentation is actually one of the oldest chemistry reactions that humans know of. And here's how it occurs. You take anything that has sugar in it. And because all sugars, they are polysaccharides, which are made from smaller sugars, which are monosaccharides, and one of them is glucose. And you, this is the formula of glucose. It's actually, it's also the formula of fructose. So if I tell you that one, this is formula of fructose and sucrose, uh, sorry, and glucose, does anybody know what these two will be? Fructose. Isomers. Yes. Fructose and glucose are isomers. Very good. So here's what happens. I take glucose. You have to make sure that there is no oxygen. We call it an aerobic environment. There's no oxygen. And you take 20 to 40 degrees Celsius temperature and you add yeast in there. Yeast is a microorganism. Now, when oxygen is not so yeast respiration will do anaerobic respiration. Karega. Which means it does not have oxygen. So it will produce carbon dioxide. Sorry. Carbon dioxide and ethanol. We'll balance the equation. And there you go. Carbon dioxide will escape and ethanol can be separated through fractional distillation. And this is called fermented liquor. This ethanol has many different uses. So alcohols can be used to dissolve other things. Uh, medicine we have organic compounds ko dissolve karna hai, to we use alcohol in that alcohols are used to produce uh, liquor beverages and uh, those and it's also produced uh, used to produce drugs different medicines so these are the main applications of ethanol and it's really easy to make you take glucose you can get it from anything that has sugar in it and that will Convert it to ethanol. All right. So these are the four main reactions that I wanted to discuss with you today. Tomorrow we'll start with more fun reactions of organic chemistry. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, Professor. Hello, Professor.